Starfield is massive and there are tons of stuff to do in the game. Let's discuss now the things you can do early in order to get a good start in the game and also discuss the things you could have missed while playing. There are a lot of items to find on Crete and New Atlantis offers also many many things to do. So the first thing would be to take your time and loot the valuable items. When on Crete, in the research laboratory, you have a few valuable items you don't want to miss. And I'll show you the most important ones here, the most valuable ones that is. You should look for the ones with a small mass and high value. On Crete research lab, just before entering, you have small valuable items, a funnel, a microscope and other smaller ones. Get those and sell them later, we will see how we can do that later. After you enter the research laboratory, you have on your right a book called Bad People, Bad Jokes 2, which is valuable. The Starlock board game and another book straight ahead. Before going up, I also take the coffee mugs. Also, don't forget to search the lockers and fridges to find the interesting items. Sculptures are also worth more. You will also encounter dead bodies. Loot them because many have credits on them. They are the best way to get quickly credits in the beginning of the game. One thing we need to know is that items will be sold for less than the value we see displayed on the screen when looting them. In Living Zero One, you have a few books like Frankenstein, The Comet, Where of the Worlds, other small items like the Levitating Desk Planet which are worth a lot 240 credits and they weigh 2.5. You have in this area also a gold pyramid sculpture and next to it there is a safe. And inside you have a Synapse Alpha worth 225 credits and another 328 credits. In the break room also search for lockers, you will find Alien Bug Paperweight which is worth 240 credits. The UC Battle Meal Multipack is again worth a lot, 350 credits and it only has a mass of 1.5. Also the whiskey glass are a good catch as well as the knife and the bandages. In the same break room you will find the Grendel Rifle worth 1400 and the Eon Pistol worth 750 credits. Also, before your first encounter with the Crimson Fleet Pirates in Lab 01, just before entering the room, on your left, you'll find a frag grenade and a fragmentation mine. In the locker in Lab 01, you'll find a Hamzan suit, a microscope and other valuable items. In the Research 02 room, in the office, you have the Deep Mining Space Helmet and Ammo Case. And in the storage room, next to the office, you have a safe which, if you open, you'll find a suppressed rattler, a med pack and other items. The testing 01 room has a safe inside. You need two digilocks for them and you will easily get 379 credits. After you gather a lot of these items, you'll start to become heavy. And once you move, the oxygen will deplete faster. The CO2 will build up and you risk of lowering your health. The best thing to do in this case is to talk to Vasco and store items onto him and once you go near the ship you can also access the cargo and store a lot of items there, which you will retrieve later and sell to get credits. When stacking up on items you will receive a message on the screen saying you reached your limit and then you can transfer everything to Vasco or to the ship. At the vendor in New Atlantis you can sell the stuff you have on you plus the one from the ship's inventory. We also need to know that if the vendor's credits run out, you can still sell the stuff to him, but you won't get anything in return right away. As a general rule, when looting, it's best to go for the research laboratories because you will find plenty of valuable stuff there. One easy thing we need to get out of the way is click to skip. It is an easy one to do, but you need to know that some lines of dialogue can be skipped, in case you don't want to hear them over and over again. The cutscenes from the main quest are unskippable though. Another thing is to scan creatures and minerals. If you complete all the data on a planet, you can sell it afterwards for credits. The scanner also unlocks creatures like building outposts and using social skills. Once you get to New Atlantis, you can shop for clothes, weapons and food and even medical facilities. At ETI, you can shop for clothing, at Centauri Arsenal, you can buy and sell weapons. Both are located in the residential district. You can also buy a rare rifle in New Atlantis, the Marksman AA-99, it costs 27,884 credits, but it's a really good one. It is useful to combine the preferred weapon with a matching skill, so if you like using pistols, there is a skill for that. For shotguns as well, and you can choose ballistics or laser skills, which offer increased damage for the entire set of weapons of that type. It is a really useful help in combat, reaching level 3 for ballistics adds an increase of 30% more damage and level 4 increases the range to 
The sharpshooting skill offers, depending on the rank, increased headshot critical damage by 50% with ranged weapons, increased headshot critical damage to enemy legs by 50% with ranged weapons. Rapid reloading is another useful skill. It offers 30% faster reloading speeds depending on the rank, it applies 20% to ballistics, energy and EM weapons, and particle beam weapons. Because some of the most difficult enemies are humans, you might want to think about the armor penetration skill. Most of the zealots and other guards or soldiers have armor. This skill ignores up to 50% of the target's armor. And at level 4, enemy armor is decreased by 25% for 6 seconds after a critical hit. One useful thing to do once on a planet is to explore it. Scan everything and this way you will get experience points and also discover a lot of new things to do. Once you get experience fast, you will get skill points and grow faster and learn new skills. Also by exploring everything, you will also come across dead bodies with credits on them, useful items and weapons which you can sell later. To help you get around the new Atlantis and around the maps, you can fast travel to points you already visited. It is a useful feature if you don't want to waste time or don't know how to reach certain regions again. Something you might struggle with is when you'll need to perform the grab jump. For this, you need to check the left bottom corner menu, here you'll see the GRV. For that, we need to subtract power by using up and down from other ship devices such as shields or missiles and power up the GRV. This way, after you selected the destination, your ship will perform the grab jump. If you are caught stealing within the cities, the guards will be after you. You can pay a fine or go down fighting, which won't be pleasant. So try and don't steal items in public. I managed to steal stuff from the lockers in UC Vanguard and didn't get caught, but do this at your own risk. You will be asked to return the items and you will be searched for contraband. So depending on what you're carrying, this could create more trouble for you. You can pull up the scanner by pressing F on PC and this will show the path to take to reach the mission objective. In case you're navigating a difficult city or landscape, I'm sure this will help you guys a lot and it's something we need to know early. In order to switch weapons much more faster, you need to add them to favorites and then you can swap them without having to go to inventory. This will save you a lot of time, especially if the menu takes a bit to load. You can use the directional pad for the quick menu and on PC you press the Q and select the weapons or items from the menu. After you complete the mission one small step, you will receive the lodge key. This will allow you to explore the rooms inside the lodge, you can do this and get a lot of credits and useful items if you explore every room and loot everything valuable. Also near Sarah in the main room, I found a magazine offering 5% permanent reduced fall damage. I'm not sure if this is procedurally generated and random for everyone, but please do check everything inside the lodge to get some useful credits. Also here I found a book opening a mission towards Luna. In some cases I heard others finding that book on Crete, so it might spawn in various places. Simply get all the sculptures, bottles, microscopes and books and you'll make a nice profit. After the same mission, one small step, you will get the booster and be able to use it afterwards. As I said, exploring is always rewarding, and in order to do it well on any planet, but in my case I focused on Jamison, you first need to walk to a new location which is displayed on the map. You then kill everyone, load as much as you can, fast travel back to a merchant, but you cannot exceed the carrying capacity in order to fast travel, and for this you need to do more than one trip. So go to a vendor, sell everything, go back, load down to your more items and fast travel back to the vendor. The thing is, once you discover a location you can fast travel back to it and if your weight doesn't exceed the total mass, simply do this on and on. Of course, you can always increase the mass you can carry by upgrading with skill points. During your jumps, you might get lacerations. In order to treat them, you will need bandages. Save a couple with you in case you might need them for these situations. If you like exploring and doing 100% on planets, you will want to scan every flora and fauna and find the traits. In order to find all the animals and plants, you will need to explore big distances and also travel to different areas on the planet, like the equator, the frozen poles and inside caves, in order to find all the possible life. Some species live only in certain regions and you can find them only there. For the traits, you need to find the unknown icon on the screen. You scan the area until you find a specific trait. And this is how you complete the survey of a planet 100%. After you complete the survey of planets, you can go back to a vendor, a kiosk, and sell there the survey data. 
Hope this video worked well for you, thank you very much for watching the entire video, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe and I wish you all the best, goodbye.